Hi everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the KJV Hendrickson Hallmark Reference Bible. So this one is done by Hendrickson Bibles as we see there and this one is a deluxe handbound edition. So we can see right here that we've got a large print and it's also a top grain goat skin. So it comes in a nice two-piece box. There's our ISBN number. Then we're going to go ahead and look at the back of the box but Really nice packaging. I like the way that they did that. There is an example of the text. So that is nice if you were to see one on a shelf in a Christian bookstore. You can look at this and see if the size is going to work for you or not. So there is some information about this particular edition. If you would like to pause and read that. And then we're going to pan down and look at our features. So we have a top grain goatskin leather. Spine hubs which are amazing three ribbon markers, gilded page edges, presentation page, handbound cover, line to the edge, full color maps, verse references, a concordance, red letter text, and easy to read 11.25 font. So the way that it's going to come to you is going to come to you just like this in the box and then it's going to be wrapped in a nice paper. So I'll give you the full experience on what you will see if you purchase one of these Bibles. And this is a nice paper that they do wrap this in. All right, so this Bible is going to be nine and a quarters inches tall by six inches wide and it is an inch and a quarter thick. So we can see there we've got nice black and yellow head and tail bands and the gilding on this Bible is really really pretty and in some lights it almost is like a chameleon because in some lights it looks gold, other lights it almost has a copper or a rose gold tint to it. So it can kind of be deceiving because you look at it and you think you have it pegged on the color and then you change the direction of it a little bit and the lighting and it changes so that's kind of neat on the gilding the way that that is done and on our cover this is going to be a top grain goat skin and it is an embossed grain that is on there and so you can see the grain on that and one thing that I really like on this particular grain the way that they did this is it feels really rugged it feels really durable and me with having fingernails you can hear me scratching that. It doesn't feel at all like I'm going to damage this cover. So that is one really nice thing. You can see some of the other grain that is coming out of that. But really just a great looking cover the way they did that. It is perimeter stitched all the way around the perimeter, which is really nice. And one of my favorite things on this Bible is going to be the spine. So we've got Holy Bible. King James Version, KJV, and Hendrickson Bibles. We can see that we do have these five raised ribs that are really pronounced and they just look really neat. So that is probably one of the coolest things to me is the way that they've done that spine. It's just really unique. Then inside we're going to have a synthetic liner and I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but it does have a grain pattern done on it. So that does look really nice. And we can see that it does say top grain goat skin leather cover. It is edge lined, so this Bible is meant to hold up. It is a sewn binding as well. So this tab here is going to be a little bit stiff. So it's not going to lay flat right out of the gate for you. But once it's broken, it will definitely lay flat. So we're going to have our presentation page with a nice scripture down here at the bottom. That looks really nice. We're going to get into our title pages. And then this one here is printed in Italy. Then we can also see there that there is also a cowhide edition. So that is pretty neat. In our contents page, we're going to have the Old Testament books as well as the new. And then we've got special features in the back, so we will take a look at those as well. We're going to have our list of the books alphabetically. We do have an epistle dedicatory. 
So if you get one and you've never read that, definitely read that. You should, any Bible lover should at least read that at some point. And then we get right into the text. So one of the highlights of this Bible is the font size, which is an 11.25 font. And we can see there that it is also a verse by verse. So it's probably gonna be easier to highlight it on the right hand side of the column. So we've got all of our verses, all verse by verse, and then we can also see that we have end of verse references. So that's gonna make the text nice and clean so that you're not gonna have the center column references. So some of these might be a little bit harder to find if you were just using it as a reference Bible. But if you're gonna want a, like a reading Bible, something with a larger font that you can just read comfortably and have it be a verse by verse format, this would be perfect. This would be great for preachers or anybody who loves the KJV because the way that they did this, it's really nice. So I'm gonna get a little bit deeper into it so that it's a little bit easier to hold so we can get a close up of that font. So we can see there, and on most of the pages, the majority of this is going to be line matched, but it's not 100% line matched on there, but a good portion of it is. But we can see how clear that font is on there. So you could pause that and read it. I mean, just crystal clear. So they did a great job with the font. We do have three ribbon markers. Now our ribbons are a double satin. So they have a really nice feel to them. I like that they are angle cut. I prefer that versus just a straight cut. They are long enough for you to actually use. The only thing on the ribbons that I would prefer would be the way that they've got these tucked in here. They have all three of those ribbons just smack dab in the middle. So the way that they were pushed into the Bible you can see this section between those two right there, right by my fingernail, that section of pages. That's where all of those were wedged down inside of there. So it's a little too thick to have three of those wedged in. So hopefully that's not permanent damage to those papers. But it would have been nice if they would have spaced that out because there's plenty of space to split those. So that would have been one thing that they probably could have improved upon a little bit, but the ribbons themselves are really nice quality. So I am glad that there is three. And so that doesn't cause any issues at all for me. I just, it's kind of more of a personal preference sort of thing. And we're gonna get back into the New Testament of this Bible. We're gonna take a look at the red letter. All right, so here we go with our red letter. So I like the shade of red that they used. It's not a bright, bright red. So I do like that it's not super bright and blinding like some shades of red. So you can see there that that actually looks really nice. So nice clear font. And I think the only spaces really where it might not be line match is because these subheadings can kind of throw off the text a little bit. So. Aside from some spaces like that, you may not have some line matching, but that's looking pretty good right there on both sides. So we do have a nice clear red letter. The paper that is in this one, it is a 36 GSM thin coat plus paper. So it is a premium paper, so it does have a nice feel. I do like the feel of this Bible. I like that it uh, gives you some extra space here when it's laying open. That looks really nice. Then we're going to get into the back of the Bible and we're going to take a look at those special features. And then we will look at one thing back here in Revelation. So it is red letter all the way through the whole Bible. As we can see, we're at the end of Revelation and we do have some red letter. Then we're going to get into our special features. And rather than read those out to you, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at them. So we're gonna have our key Bible promises. So a few pages there. We've also got a few pages of the harmony of the gospels. So that is really nice. I like it when Bibles have some extra features in the back because 
even though this is just designed to be a large text reading type of Bible with some references, it is nice to have some extra things in the back. Then we're going to get into our miracles of the Old Testament. And it breaks them down as far as miracles from creation to the patriarchs, from Exodus to the conquest and so forth. And so they do a nice job the way that they break those down. We're going to have the parables of the Old Testament. And then we're also going to have the miracles as well as the parables of the New Testament as well. So we'll have that for both Old and New. We also have the Old Testament prophecies of the Passion. So I'll get you a close-up of that and you can feel free to look up those verses in your own Bible. That might be kind of fun for you. And then we're going to get into our concordance. So our concordance looks like basically it starts on page 1499. Let's see how many pages we got. And it goes to page 1622. So it still has a large font, so still nice and bold and readable. We can see that the words are done in bold there. Now in a concordance, the you're not going to have quite the line matching in the back of the Bible as you will in the text. But like for me, I care more about the text of the Bible. So I'm not going to use a concordance a whole lot, but when I'm reading, I like that that is nice and clear and I don't have a ton of distractions. So that is perfect for larger font, being able to just read the text and enjoy your Bible. And we're going to get back into our maps and we're going to have eight full color Bible maps. So you'll be able to see here from the light there that they are on a shiny cardstock, but they're still really nice looking maps. They're really clear. I like that they have the borders around them. So you can see when I get closer to that, I mean, you can see all of everything on there just crystal clear. So again, we do have eight full color maps. Then we're going to get into the back and we do have a couple pages just like we did in the front. So you do have a little bit of space for notes if you wanted to take some notes in your Bible. But the way that they did this one as far as the cover with this hand bound goat skin, it's a top grain. And again, this feels super, super rugged. I mean, I don't feel at all like I'm going to damage this, which that makes me just want to use it that much more because with having fingernails, I tend to scratch Bibles. And so I'm not concerned about having that issue with this one. So I'll give you one more look at the spine and those awesome raised ribs, which just look fantastic. And we're going to get you another shot of our ISBN number. Now this Bible does retail for $250. And right now on ChristianBook.com at the moment that I'm shooting this video, it's in the $166 range. So definitely check your prices if this is something that you're interested in. So, and I will also put a link in the description box as well. So I'll definitely check it out. This is one of the first premiums that Hendrickson has done. And I think they did a really nice job on it. I like reading from this one. And I'm kind of training a little bit of that yap because you do get somewhat of a yap on there. So that is really nice. And again, that gilding is awesome. But just a really pretty Bible. Nice large font. So definitely check it out if you're a fan of the King James translation. And I would also like to thank the folks over at Hendrickson for graciously providing this copy for review. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.